right side of the weaving, and this is the last part to come off the loom, and you're prepared lining with the fray check, and you line it up. And what I'm gonna do is sew a half inch from the top, three inches towards the middle, and stop. And the same on the other side, half inch from the top, three inches towards the middle, and stop. And what I actually do is I leave the threads hanging on the back so that I can finish it off later, but that's completely up to you. Then you're gonna turn it so that the wrong sides are facing. And I did give it a little bit of uh, a cool iron at the top to finish the edge. And then this is the tricky part. To make the flap, you have the right sides and you're gonna line up this border here between the turquoise and the um, purple. I'm gonna line it up with the top here. So I'm going to fold so that the turquoise line meets right at the top on both sides. You can pin it here or you can wait till the next part. Then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna take the lining and fold it up to match that top flap. If it doesn't match on the bottom, it's okay, but you wanna match it up here at the top. So now you have three folds, two folds here, one of lining, one of your woven piece, and you're just going to stitch by hand up here across the top flap and all the way down to the bottom. You probably wanna reinforce it a little bit here. I think I'm gonna use a quarter inch all the way around. Now here is the finished stitching. This part on the bottom is open and you've stitched, I stitched across the top first and then I stitched down each side towards the fold. And like I said, the lining doesn't have to completely meet the bottom edge, but you want the lining to be flat. And so, and then I snitched down this side. So I reach inside the bag where we have the three inch hole and you're gonna kind of feed it through. And just work slowly, turning everything inside out. And you're gonna slowly the flap, which is the first part of your weaving. I'm going to give this a steam press, but there you have your line bag. Just push the corners out so it is kind of stiff. It 
So I just, just gotta kind of work it slowly. And there we have a line bag with the flap. And all you have to do now, and this is why I left those threads hanging when we did the first part, is to stitch that closed. And it doesn't even have to be that great of a stitching because it's on the inside of the bag. And then press the lining and everything so that this doesn't show. You're going to press that underneath. And you have a